you here. Um, today it's probably going to be a bit of a short video just on how to change the steering wheel on one of these sort of Teleflex um, helms. It's actually pretty much the same for those spiral um, cables as well. Uh, it's a pretty simple job in some ways um, and it really is just a nut and pull it off um, but they do tend to get really stuck so we'll see how this one goes. Um, sometimes they're also hard to get a bit of a grip on so it's, it's more of just a bit of technique as opposed to any any real um, complex process or anything. So over a series of videos I'm going to do quite a bit of stuff to this boat. I actually think that um, boats are quite a fun platform to do some modifications to. Um, there's lots of uh, YouTube shows and things about modifying cars uh, but you don't tend to see too much in boats but at the same time I think boats are kind of ideal in that they're um, very simple you know they're not as high value so you don't tend to be as shy about getting in there and grinding away metal and welding new bits on you know. Um, and the other thing is essentially if it, uh, if it floats, you could register it, so you don't have the same limitations you have with a car. You can actually get a bit radical with your, your boat modifications. So I'm hoping to sort of do a bit of a series on this boat as I push on. Um, it's nothing flash, it's going to be a bit more of a Mad Max sort of style boat than a, uh, than a um, sort of glamour cruiser or anything, but um, we'll see what we come up with. Alright, but for now, let's just change this wheel out. So before I begin, I'll just say I actually did a conversion already, um, putting a... Uh, ignition switch and a uh, start button and everything in this boat. Um, I will do a video on how I did this as a part of this series as well. Uh, but for this job, uh, first step, a bit of wash, is um, just to take this, I've usually got some sort of plastic cover off and there'll be a nut on here. Now this is a slightly different style, normally it's a shaft and a nut, so let's take this off and have a look. It's about a... Uh, About a 16 mil this one. Need an extension just to get in around the uh, the rake of the wheel. Okay. Now once that's out see there's just a little sort of woodruff key it's actually it looks like it's attached it's not really a key um, holding this on um, theoretically this wheel will just pull out now but it's almost always impossible there's usually just uh, it's a tapered fitting in here um, so just the pressure of doing the nut really forces it onto the tapered fitting and a bit of this kind of aluminium corrosion that gets in here almost always locks it on pretty tight so what I'm going to do now is just grab a puller, they're a pretty cheap tool you get from any kind of auto store um, and see if there's somewhere we can hook this on. Um, you can also try sort of wedging a screwdriver in behind um, but the great thing about a puller is they pull something almost straight out rather than kinking it on the shaft because as soon as you pull from one edge it really just sort of jams itself on. So we'll see if we can get a grip. The trouble with steering wheels is you've got these three sort of spokes to grab onto but on this it's a very raked steering wheel, they come out and then the lip behind here is actually protected behind here so I think we'll be struggling with this one but we'll give it a go. So a puller is essentially just a tool with a threaded rod through the centre and then these three adjustable kind of uh, claws I guess you call them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this point in the very centre here and then just try and get a grip here on some part of the steering wheel behind. Um, because it's a three prong uh, three um, spoked sort of wheel and we got these three they're at the same um, same sort of positions around the circle so that'll help a little bit um, but as I said I don't think there's still a lot to grip on so let's have a go I'll uh, set this up and I'll show you how to get it rigged up so all I'm really doing here is getting enough slack on that thread so that I can get the uh, hooks behind and then just see if we can get a bit of tension on them. Alright, it's not too bad. I'll bring in and give you a closer look. So here you can see I've just got it sort of hooked in behind here but this slopes away so I'm wondering whether it's going to dig into this plastic or not. Now fortunately I've got the sort of luxury that this uh, steering wheel isn't going to get um, repurposed. So if it gets a bit damaged, that's okay. Or if I have to cut a sort of notch out for the puller to grip onto, that's okay too. So now I'm just going to put a uh, socket on there, now that was finger tight. And then just slowly start trying to uh, 
crank some pressure on this. The thing you really need to keep an eye out for is just whether the hooks are slipping or whether they're staying in position. You can see here how much force it's taken to get this off. Um, this plastic's quite soft now, it's quite an old wheel. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bit of penetrating oil in here, I think I've got some WD-40 with me. Uh, let that soak in for a second. Um, and then if that doesn't work I might try just getting a slide hammer that I can hook on the end. Uh, not ideal once again because you're not pulling straight the way a puller is. Um, but just the shocking kind of the, you know, the impact motion can uh, can help a lot with that. So I'm just gonna spray a lubricant in here just to help break up that corrosion a bit. So I'm gonna give a go with this slide hammer now. The end of the slide hammer I'm using is just essentially a hook like that um, and all the slide hammer does is let you hook something and then hit against the stop as a way of pulling it. Um, this isn't ideal for this situation because um, as I said, if we, I'm going to hook, be hooking it on the edges here, so I'm no longer pulling it straight, but the impact motion can be quite good for breaking the corrosion. So I might end up using this just to break the corrosion seal, and then use it to pull it to get it off. We'll, we'll see how we go. So this pretty much hasn't budged a millimetre. Um, so I think I'm going to go to uh, plan C, which is now I'm going to drill, uh, try and drill from about here and actually essentially cut right through here to make this a U so I can expand it and relieve the pressure on here. So let's give that a go. Okay, but I've just realised the drills in the car, so I'm going to go get that. I'm going to start with a smaller pilot hole and then move up to a 10mm drill bit. Alright, at least it's nice and soft aluminium, so that's always good. Now, if you did want to keep this wheel, um, and it wasn't a throwaway like this one. Uh, you could start looking at heating this out a bit to try and get this aluminium to expand. Um, but really depends how much you value your time. It's like a $20 steering wheel, so you're probably better off just breaking it like I am and just replacing it with a new one, to be honest. The better the steering wheel, the more chance you've got of getting it off because, for example, the one I'm about to put on is a completely metal frame here, so there was plenty of strength in gripping it. In this one, the plastic's just bending. Now we've got this hole, it's through to the keyhole here, but because the, the keyhole's a couple of mil deep, it hasn't touched the shaft at all. But we've got a bit here, so I'm just gonna put a bit more lubricant in it, give it a few whacks now and see if we can pull it off. So what I've done now, it was still pretty stuck. There was actually a bit of a crack in it, so I've just taken a really old big screwdriver and abused it terribly for those tool purists and hammered it in so it's now cracked this aluminium here. So I think we're on the home straight now. Um, now just going to sort of pull these chips out. We should better get this out pretty easily. Famous last words, of course. 
There. So I did actually nick this shaft a little bit when I was uh, drilling around, which is a bit bad form, but it's not going to matter. So, new steering wheel. I need to clean it up a little bit still. There, it's on. <laughs> you know, the reality is there's not much to these steering wheels. They're really easy to do, except when they're dissolved and corroded. Um, as I said, there may have been a way to get this off more delicately, um, but the point of this video, I guess, isn't necessarily... Um, I mean, it's nice in some ways to have one that was very stuck, because there's a chance to show you the different techniques you might use to remove one, um, destructively, admittedly, but, but to remove it. Um, but the main point is, uh, a lot of times when people take these wheels off, they take that centre nut off. Sometimes it's a, a centre thread like this, sometimes it's the thread on the outside. The steering wheel doesn't budge like that last one did. And then they start to wonder what they've missed, what they've done wrong. So the reality is, you haven't done anything wrong, it's just stuck, don't doubt yourself. It really generally is just this one centre nut, and then whatever means you can do to pull it off that shaft, given how long it's been on there, what corrosion's under there, etc. So before I put the new one on, I'm actually just going to get a little bit of this uh, aluminium anti seize and just put it on the shaft here so I don't have so much trouble taking this off again should I need to, if the helm fails or whatever. So just a thin layer around the whole thing. And then uh, which way is my wheel? So the other thing is I'm just, uh, yeah it's not too bad, just making sure it's aligned well with the motor itself. Washer and nut. So we're all done now, uh, thanks for watching. Um, look, it wouldn't surprise me if this video in some ways gets a few dislikes in that, um, you know, people get a bit funny about butchering certain things, but it's horses for courses, you know, these do get stuck. The pull is a good way, uh, putting a bit of penetrating oil, let that sit overnight, heat, all the techniques we've seen time and time again because boats suffer from corrosion. Um, in this case, the steering wheel is always going to go in the bin, it's not worth it. Um, but the take home message is there really is only the one nut. If you're lucky, it'll come off easily. Um, if not, you'll have to go through techniques like this. So I hope you have more luck than I had in some ways, but as I said, I'm not worried because it's not a wheel I wanted to keep and it was a good opportunity to show you guys how hard it can be to get a wheel off, even though in theory it's a very simple job. So take care. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and I'll catch you next time. See ya.